I, I want to say one last thing and then we're calling it. This, you don't know this, maybe you don't know this. Some of you, if you've ever been in another 2B class, you will recognize this immediately. The way we're doing this class is highly non-standard. Do you know usually the first thing you do in a 2B class, the first day that you start? Gaussian elimination. Think about this for a second. In my class, I say that Gaussian elimination is actually the fourth problem that you solve. It's the third problem you solve. So first you do building matrices, then you learn how to multiply matrices together, then you learn the reverse. The idea uh, that you start with that would be like, I take a student, like my son, I'm going to teach my son math, I can guarantee you, we count every single day, it's beautiful. And I say, son, I will never teach you what a function is. I'll never have you graph a function. I'll never have you build a function. I'll never have you recognize what a function is. Then, not only will I not do that, I'll never teach you what differentiation is. And the first day we work on calculus, I'm going to teach you integration. And then I do something that looks like this. I go, oh, son, if you ever see a 3 up here, there's this little trick. You know the number three, right, son? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I know the number three. And I go, okay, what you got to do is just add one to that three and then drop a four on the bottom and then just add C. Is my son going to be able to do that? Yeah, and I'm like, hey, son, son, son. Yeah, so now if you see number four, you, what are you going to do, son? You're going to take four and add one to it and drop a five on the bottom and add C. And then I'm going to be like, son, could you do it with six? What's he going to say to me? Yeah. And now I ask, why are you doing that? And you know what he's going to say to me? Because you told me. Yeah, now it's an exercise in faith. In, in this class, what we're going to do is we are going to construct from the ground up all of the theory you need to understand so that when you look at the backward problem, you see the backward problem as the reverse of the forward problem. You see the connections between integrals and derivatives. You see non-singular linear systems problem as literally the reverse of matrix vector multiplication problem. And not only that, when we go to solve it, you're not going to do it in scalar space. You're going to do it in matrix space. Matrix space is post-1970s. Scalar space is pre-1970s. When you finish my class, you will have an understanding of the current level of mathematic numerical linear algebra, the entire paradigm of, the of, of this field that is still an active field, you will be introduced in that. But it requires that we actually build a deep understanding from the ground up, and that's what you're seeing here. We've already started to build matrices from, real from at least one real world context. We're starting to build scalar vector multiplication, vector vector multiplication, inner product. Then we're going to build matrix products. We'll, first we'll build matrices, then we'll build matrix products. Then we'll do matrix vector multiplication. Then we'll do matrix matrix multiplication. Only then, after we've done all that, are we allowed to touch non-singular linear systems. But by the time we do that, you're going to have a map all the way back down to the, to the foundations of the field, and you will be post-1970s. So it's a different approach, but I'm going to claim it's the approach that uh, research professionals at this, at this stage in life use. And you ever heard about machine learning? Yeah. Heard about big data AI? As a numerical linear algebraist, I say all of that is possible because numerical linear algebra exists. All of that is built on numerical linear algebra. Numerical linear algebra is the technical mathematical background of big data. It allows you to analyze data using problems in algebra. 